three, two, one, let's go. Hey family, brother Adam here with a video. So today is Tuesday, October the 4th, 2022. And if you're new to this channel, on this channel, we're watching and waiting for the soon rapture of the church. Our blessed hope. And family, how do we know it's soon? We know it's soon because Bible prophecy is declaring so. Look up family, because our redemption draweth nigh. So family, today, I want to bring all of you some encouragement. Now look around this world, family. Look at the world we're living in. It's falling apart. We're seeing one event after another. And family, what I believe is going on, we're seeing the Most High God give out His final warnings. The convergence of Bible prophecy is off the charts. Here recently, we've seen the heifers arrive in Israel. The Euphrates River is drying up. We're seeing constant shuffling of world leaders. The earthquakes are getting stronger and becoming closer together. We're hearing a lot of talk about the Third Temple. Nations all across the world are being devastated by record-breaking storms. We're seeing a push towards a digital cashless society, and we can see the beast system and all of its devices being formed right before our very eyes. I truly believe the next event on God's calendar could very well be the rapture of the church. We got some very high watch days coming up, Day of Atonement and Feast of Tabernacles. Now just remember this, you know how we all long to be with the Lord? We want that trumpet to sound so badly. Just remember, as bad as we want to be with the Lord, as bad as we want the rapture to happen, Jesus wants us with him just as badly, honestly probably more. Jesus has been gone for 2,000 years, preparing a place for us. Now, family, think about this for a second, okay? When Jesus was on earth, he was a carpenter, and Jesus has been gone preparing a place for us for nearly 2,000 years. And Father God designed all this, created the earth in six days. Now, can you imagine what kind of place that Jesus has prepared for us? Jesus has gone to prepare a place for us because we are the family of the Most High God. Would any of you go build a place for your family and when it's done, not bring your family with you? No, we wouldn't because we would want our family with us. That's how the Lord sees us. Someone actually told me the other day, I feel like Jesus has forgotten us and family rest assured, that's not the case. How could a man who was nailed on the cross and beat in front of his mother for the sin debt of the entire world forget us? Everything Jesus ever did, he did for us out of love. He hasn't forgotten us. Family, we can see that day fastly approaching. We can tell it's the season of the rapture. Don't let anyone steal your crown. You see, family, as the world falls apart, remember, we have something. We have that Titus 2.13 blessed hope. Titus 2.13, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. You know why it's our blessed hope? Because we will be kept from the hour of temptation. No matter what you're going through today, remember, you're a child of the Most High God, and you were chosen to be here at the time of the end. And also remember, Jesus is coming back for us very, very soon. And you may ask, how do we know Jesus is coming back for us? 1 Thessalonians 4, 16 through 18. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we, which are alive and remain, family, that's us, shall be called up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. You see, family, that right there, that's a promise from the Most High God. That is a promise that the Lord is coming back for us. The Lord's not slack on his promises. Everything that the Bible said will happen has either happened or will happen. Now, family, remember what Revelation 3.10 says, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world, to try them that dwell upon the earth. Now, you see, family, as we see the tribulation setting its shadow on the earth, and we can see it setting its shadow, that means the rapture is very close. The Bible tells us we're not appointed to the wrath of God. And family, the Most High God will pour out His wrath during the tribulation. And like Revelation 3.10 says, we will be kept from the hour of temptation. So family, you see, as the world prepares to transition into the tribulation, 
Family, we're preparing for the rapture of the church. We're already prepared. And how are we prepared? By our faith in Jesus Christ. Now, family, I don't know if I've ever told you this, but I've been watching for the Lord's return since I was nine years old. When I was nine years old, my grandmother told me. She started teaching me the Bible and Bible prophecy, and she told me, it may not be in my lifetime, but in your lifetime, I truly believe that you will see Jesus come back. And I really seriously started watching really hard probably about eight years ago. And family, I've never seen everything come together like this. The convergence of Bible prophecy that's going on right now is unprecedented. I truly believe with all my heart, we're not in the final moments no more. We are in the final seconds right before the rapture of the church. And family, that's why the message of the gospel is so important. And as always, my beautiful family, will you say we close this video out by me giving you the gospel of our salvation? Now, family, the message of the gospel is actually simple, but what happens is man comes along. They try to twist the gospel and add words to it. And family, it just don't work that way. And we find the gospel in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. According to scripture, Jesus was born of a virgin and family. Jesus lived a sinless, perfect life. Jesus lived his entire life without ever once sinning. And at the age of 30, Jesus started his earthly ministry. And in a matter of three years, man, Jesus changed the entire world forever. And Jesus did, family, because here we are, nearly 2,000 years later, still talking about our Jesus. And then at the age of 33, in the biggest act of love that humanity has ever seen or will ever see, Jesus was nailed on that cross. He had a crown of thorns put on his head. He was beat for us. Jesus spilled his perfect, innocent blood for the mission of our sins. My sins, your sins, everybody's sins. Family, Jesus did it all on the cross. And then Jesus laid dead for how long, family? For three days, three days, three days. At that third day, he busted that tomb wide open. Hey, family, no tomb could hold our Messiah. Then Jesus ascended to go be with the Father. And on this channel, we do know he's coming back for us soon. And family, what is it we're looking for? It's that Titus 2.13, blessed hope. And guys, world events and Bible prophecy is declaring the soon and intimate return of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Family, stay in that full armor of God and keep on looking up because our redemption draweth nigh. Well, family, I hope this video brought you some encouragement. I went back to the doctor today. They did another x-ray. I'm recovering fine. In two or three days, I should be recovered from this pneumonia. Thank you for all the prayers. I took a nap when I got back. I hadn't got a chance to pack our hygiene kits to mail to Florida. I'm going to be taking care of that tomorrow. Family, all the prayers y'all have given me, all the love and support, it means the world to me. I will never be able to tell you, express it with words, how much I love you guys and how much I feel blessed to have you guys in my life. I truly thank the Most High God for every single last one of you guys every day. Thank you. No one subscribed to this channel has the right to say that they are not loved by anybody on this planet. Because let me tell you something, I love you. Well, family, as always, I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and feel free to share it. Family, it helps out a lot and I greatly appreciate it. If any of you have any prayer requests, drop them in the comment section below. Myself or someone from the prayer team would be honored to pray over your prayer request. And if any of you guys are new here, man, hit that subscribe button and join our channel, family. Because on this channel, you guys are more than a number. You guys are loved and appreciated. And as always, if any of you guys want to contribute to one of our outreach programs, check the description box below. There's ways you could do so. All donations either go to the Bible ministry or to our homeless outreach program with the Hope Bags. If you can, make sure you include the email address. That way we can get in touch with you and let you know where your contribution went to. Well, till next time, Watchman Adam signing out. I love you guys and keep on looking up because Jesus is coming soon. Take care, family.